Good morning. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I sat around and didn't do a darn thing yesterday. Nothing. Gotta have days like that once in a while. But I'm gonna get out there today and get some work done. I was hoping to get mowed. Get the grass mowed, but it just had a little small downpour. So I don't think that's gonna happen, but you never know. But I got other things to do. But one thing I wanted to talk about, because I never seen this before I moved to this area. Uh, it happens everywhere here. And it's wrong. Very wrong. I've never had anybody, when I go to the city, tell me this. But it happens here quite often. And it's been a subject of many of arguments between me and my former boss when I worked at the pawn shop. And that is, well, let's just use, for example, the new end table I bought. And I've got to keep an eye out here because Rooster is out on the chair. And if it starts raining, she could melt. She could literally melt. So I got to, you know, I, I look at my trash can lid. And if any drops of water flow on there, I know it's time to get the Rooster in. But what I am talking about, I went and I bought the table. Okay. I don't generally carry cash. I carry uh, my debit card, which most of us today do. So I whip out the card to pay, and I know what's coming next because it's exclusive to this county, to this town. I mean, let me let me just give you an example of how this went. Okay, I whip out the card and I do this, and then she looks at it and she goes. We're going to have to charge you 3%. That's what, do you have cash? Do you have a check? Well, we're going to have to charge you 3% if you want to use that. Because that's what they charge us to use it. Everywhere you go. And I got into so many arguments over this. And I've gotten to the point where I just say, I already know it's coming when I go there. It's included in the price. And that is my point. That is what that is called is the cost of doing business. Okay. If you are a business and you have the option where, where if you don't have this option, you're going to lose a lot of business. That is the cost of doing business. You have to offer that service because most people are not going to carry, you know. And this thing was almost $200. I'm not, I don't ever, if I've got any cash in my wallet at any given time, it's maybe under $20. $1 bills, $5 bills, blah, 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 blah. Usually the only time I ever get cash is when I go to get a haircut or I need to go get water at the kiosk and I need to put dollar bills in something. Otherwise, I don't need it. And uh, I wish we would go back to the old days where you could use cash. But they seem to want to pass that on to the customer. You know, if I own a business, and, and, and believe me, the prices are already high enough. Our tax rate is 12%, just about 12%, which kind of deters me from buying a lot of things locally because of that. Uh on top of that, they want to charge me 3%. You know, that doesn't seem like a lot, but you buy you buy a big purchase, you know, that adds up. That could be uh, two or three days worth of food. But they do that here. Now, I've never encountered that going anywhere else in the big cities. They, they assume that's the cost of doing business. It's probably figured into their price. And the way that works... Uh, when these businesses have a credit card service, when they get the machine, okay, they get charged a percentage, which I think is wrong. I mean, you're using, they're using their cards that the companies are making money off of. They shouldn't have to pay anything. It should just be a, a service that's everywhere. So to pass that on to the customer is just crazy. And they do it here. I don't even know if it's legal. I haven't looked into it. It hasn't been one of them situations where I'm so piping hot mad. I got to come home, you know, 
Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see to this. Oh, there's a law. It ain't that kind of a thing, but it ticks me off. Does it tick you off? Probably not, because you don't live here. There are certain things living here that are different from where you're living. You know, Arkansas is a, you have a personal property tax. They tax you on everything you own, which pretty much, you know, is your vehicles, RVs, boats, things like that. There is a tax on and you have to pay every single year. You have to go in. If you buy a new vehicle, you have to have that assessed. They put a value on it. They put a tax on that value. And that is what you pay every single year until a certain time limit. Like if a vehicle is over five years old, I think it goes down quite a bit. I know to tag a vehicle that's over it's either five years or eight years old. Basically nothing. It's like $25 a year, which is pretty cheap. I don't pay anything because I'm a disabled veteran. Uh, a lot of states offer that. So you can't complain there. there. You save money, but then you pay more on certain things. But for groceries and, you know, goods, I go usually to the city. They still have a high tax rate, but it's nothing like 12%. It's more like 9 10%. I mean, you buy a $3,000 lawnmower. That's a lot of money. So you have to figure those things out. Uh, a lot of times I'll go to my local hardware store because otherwise I would have to drive to Lowe's or Home Depot. Depending on how much of something I need. If I need 100 2x4s, yes. I'm loading up, and I'm going to Fort Smith to buy that because the tax is lower, the price is much lower, and I could save a lot of money. If I only need two or three, well, am I going to put up, you know, it takes a half a tank of gas in that F-250 to go to Fort Smith and back. And I have to figure in the cost of what that is. So if, if I'm not going to save any money by going there, I don't. But if you buy in bulk, most times, um, you will, you know, you have to go out of town to get them. And I'm not complaining. That's why I live out the way I do, where I'm not around a bunch of people. Uh, it's the price of living rural. And I don't eat out anymore. There's no more of that. So I don't, I don't worry about that. But there's tax on that too, I believe. And, and, you know, I think they're trying to move away from that. A lot of states are doing away with the grocery tax because groceries are so high. I quit shopping entirely here in town at the local heart, uh, the local grocery store. Not because of the prices so much, but the quality. Uh, the meats are terrible. I had an incident with chicken where, yeah, it about, it about made me sick if I hadn't caught it. And so I do everything at Aldi's. You know, the meats are good. The prices are reasonable. Man, I get a big block of cheese for $1.75. That's like $3 in my local store. So I, and, it's, and the stuff, and like the dogs, they eat the hot dogs every day. I give them a little piece of hot dog. Those are $1.78 for the cheap ones here locally. They're like uh, 90 cents. For a nice pat, and I ate one. And I'm not a big fan of hot dogs, and I ate one the other day, and they are very good. The all these hot dogs, and they're fatter, and the dogs love them. Well, let's be honest, the dogs don't care where you buy them, who made them, what's in it. They like them. It's just something uh, they've had since they were babies. They always about not every day, not every single day, but almost every day. Yep. I get out three hot dogs out of the pack, cut them in, in half, and then I take one little half, put it back in the package, because Rooster is just Rooster, and I have to cut hers in pieces, because she's little. But they get her, she, she thinks she's getting more that way, but she ain't. I think she knows by now that, you know, I'm not fooling her. But you have to, you have to do research and find out what things cost less, where is it, worth it to go get them there 
Sometimes you just don't feel like driving an hour. And you know, I make it a point to have set aside one day a week where I go do these things. And I kind of look forward to it because it gets me out of here. And it could be a Friday. It could be a Saturday. It could be a Monday. Never, I never know. That's the beauty of it. You never know. And uh, let's see what else. Yeah, we are still waiting for fiber internet. They, they've put the lines out. They put a whole new, I got a telephone pole in front of my house. And then, you know, it's got that, what do you call them things? They, that holds the pole up, that stretches, and you could decapitate yourself if you hit it on a motorcycle. One of them, I can't think of the name of it. They put another one up. Now I got two of them that dodge around when I'm mowing. I see it coming. It's pretty cool. I, I mean, I've been mowing this grass 10 years. I know every little dip and, and dewy and everything else. I'm mowing and I see a car coming. I, go, I bet they think I'm going to chop my head off in just the last minute. <clears throat> dodge it. Because I, I know my lawn. I know it. And you know them people drove off and said, man... That dude's cool. Did you see the movement on him? He was like a greased chicken being chased by a tribe of carnivores. That ain't the word carnivore. What are they? People? They're cannibals. By a tribe of cannibals. And he didn't miss a beat. And that grass down below that got mowed. I think there's a contest. Best mower. And the, I got to get in that. Got to get in. How do we get off on mowing? I'm talking about credit cards. See, that's the problem with these. I don't script nothing. I just start yakking. And then I get off on a tangent. And who knows where it's going? Is it raining? Nope. Nope. Rooster's fine. Yeah. I got to go buy some new towels, man. All the times it flooded, I take the towels that I have in the house and I lay them out to soak up the water. I've, I've, I've cured that problem, by the way, and I'm going to cure it even more in the future. That's future videos. But I've left some of them in place, like in the dog apartment, they got ruined. So I'm down to nothing for towels. So i got to go to Walmart probably this week, pick up a whole batch of towels. Because I go through a lot with dogs. You have to, you know, keep them happy. That itch right here. All right, well, that's my rant for the day. But do you think they should pass on the 3% to the consumer? And there's another thing they're doing. I, since I don't eat out, I don't really know, but they're, they add a gratuity automatically. Now, that would piss me off, too. And I have, you know, I don't have a problem leaving tips. But don't automatically assume I'm leaving this amount and charge me that because I'll never come back. Never. I will not. But I understand with the price of things today that these small businesses, and we're losing them, we're losing them quickly. Uh, California is a prime example. Everybody's shutting down. I mean, Elon Musk is pulling out. And you can't blame them because the politics there are absolutely unbelievable. And I mean, I'm not getting into politics, but they vote for that. They deserve that, is, is in my eyes. I feel sorry. And, and there's a lot of good people in California, that the small person that doesn't have anything to do with any of this. And they're leaving. And they should leave. Uh, just, just don't come here because Arkansas is full. I've said it, it's full. There's no more room. There was one piece of land. Down there, I bought it for $8,500. I did. No, I'm just kidding. There is a little piece of land at the end of my road, about eight miles from here. And it's on there. It's like the road. It's a Y in the road. This is a access road to the highway and then my road. And then right here is this little strip of land. I don't know why anybody would ever want it, but somebody will buy it because it's $8,500. And, you know, you could probably build something nice on there. Yeah, if you like listening to cars all day. I don't. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.